Our correspondent, uh, William Evans Inkum, uh, is in the Ashanti region. He's joining us on Skype for some update of uh, the situation in Obwasi and Ashanti region area. So, Evans, good afternoon. Thanks very much. I can see in your background uh, a forest area. Uh, what's, what's responsible for this backdrop? Uh, well, it has nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do with uh, mm. a growing number of cases in the Obwase. Uh, but they had high thing to do with serenity. Um, we needed a very good place so we can tell the Obwase story Great. very well. Mm. And, uh, so Stephen, I can tell you that from what I'm getting from Obwase at the moment, cases are growing beyond 600. Uh, we are still waiting for a confirmation. Um, latest in the next two or three hours, we should have a confirmation uh, right. from the uh, district health directorate. But I can tell you at least the sources that have been given us, uh, one will say uh, unadulterated report as far as development on COVID-19 cases. Right, uh, William Evans Inkum, uh, our man in Ashanti region, bringing us to speed. With, yeah, so, so Ms. Inkum, uh, I need to just start from the basics. Right now, uh, we're being told by the Ghana Health Service that 272 of the, the cases come from Obwasi alone. And you are telling us that there is a likelihood that this could reach up to 600 from sources uh, that you have spoken to. I want to find out whether these sources have given us a possible reason behind the rise in numbers in Obwasi. It is, it is, it is a well-known uh, main, uh, main uh, problem, or uh, one would say an impeccable error um, when the partial lockdown was announced. Remember, Obwasi was the third district to have recorded a case in the Ashanti region. But that place wasn't part of the partial lockdown. So it is assumed that people still had the disease, but because scientists have made us understand that some people may not be showing some level of signs, even though they may test positive, that is asymptomatic um, uh, kind of people, um, that could have led to the widespread of the COVID and then the astronomical increase in of cases uh, within the last couple of days. And uh, I mean, it's something that maybe the, the, the official or the authority will have to come and explain why the uh, why Obwase wasn't part of the initial plan. Now, aside that, certain measures that the Kumasi Metro had put in place to uh, curb or control the spread, Obwase is now implementing those measures. One has to do with the closure of markets. It was only three days ago that the major market centers were closed. And now they are thinking of running a rotational system, a system that is in the books and, of course, it is being implemented by the Kumasi Metro for uh, about three weeks now. Obwase, which is the epicenter in the Ashanti region, is now implementing those um, measures. So you could see clearly that there is so much lateness when it comes to uh, tackling or being showing some level of proactiveness mm. uh, in dealing with the cases or COVID-19 cases. Well, some of us don't want to believe that there was some level of, one would say, complacency. But from the figures that we are getting, I think it points to that direction, Stephen. Mm. So, so, Ms. Enkum, I, I want, to, want to assess the levels of compliance with the safety protocols within Obwase itself. It was, we have, you and I have spoken extensively about adherence to social distancing within Kumasi and uh, Greater Kumasi and contiguous areas, etc. But what about Obwase? You, you mentioned that uh, because Obwase was not part of the lockdown, possibly their behaviors in terms of adherence to these social uh, distancing protocols have not been good enough. What's your assessment of these uh, adherence to these protocols? Now, something that the people in Kumasi and uh, Greater Kumasi have learned um, over, uh, I mean, over time, Obwase is now going to learn that. And, and, and you will should understand, already we, we are talking about a certain cultural construct that is making it very difficult for people to adhere to the social distancing protocol. Mm. Sometimes it's not about somebody trying to, or deliberately 
not complying with this, but it's something that they have lived for a very long time. Kumasi or Ashanti is a traditional time, a, a traditional town, a traditional uh, enclave. So people want to shake hands and all of that just to show some mm. level of respect and all of that. But that thing has been uh, taken out of their everyday life because of the situation we find ourselves in at the moment. Uh, inadvertently, uh, Obuase now will have to uh, do that. And I can tell you, sometimes when you, you find people maybe forgetting themselves and doing what we've been asked not to do, sometimes you cannot blame them so much. I'm talking about Obuase. It's because now they are now beginning to learn. In, in Kumase, it has become part and parcel of life. It has become the new culture that people have adapted to. But of course, it is something that they are now going to learn because they were not part of the original uh, measures. So if you, are, if you are asking what could have accounted for the increasing numbers of uh, cases as far as uh, uh, is concerned, you cannot mention any reason without leaving what I am telling you mm. uh, aside. I can imagine. Now, you, you also earlier reported on the resistance from the residents in the use of a private facility as a holding center for people who have been infected with the coronavirus. Uh, what updates can you give us on that? Well, so um, the um, district um, security council, I'm talking about Obuasi East District, because uh, our police who force under Obuasi East District. And then that of the COVID-19 team have stood resolute to ensure that that particular facility that was made available by a private developer is used or converted into uh, an isolation center. Now, I can tell you that the, in the neighborhood, the people who were earlier protesting or agitating vehemently against uh, the conversion are now, or more or less, living in an isolation. It's like a self-imposed restriction because nobody is coming out because of the fact that now uh, they, they, they are beginning to understand that, quote-unquote, they are strangers among them. And for that matter, they cannot, uh, I mean, they, they cannot live with them. For, uh, for some days now, they've been put, protesting against their coming into that particular enclave. But now they are there, but the residents who were earlier res resisting um, they are coming to that particular place are now indoors and they are, they are not coming out for fear of contracting the disease. Right. Uh, Ms. Enkum, we're grateful for your time. Thank you extremely uh, for that report. William Evans Enkum is our reporter in Ashanti region, bringing us up to speed with the situation in Obwasi and surrounding areas, as well as this general situation in the Ashanti region. Now